In the previous video, part 2, we built a redox equation from half reactions, but it was balanced in acid solution. Here we'll convert this equation to basic solution. Here is the equation we built in part 2, which is balanced in acid solution. Now we'll convert this equation to basic solution, like the original question asked us to do. In order to make this equation basic, we must get rid of these 4H plus ions on the left side of the equation. We can get rid of H plus ions by canceling them out. We cancel them out by adding the equation H2O gives H plus plus OH minus. Because we need to cancel 4 H plus ions, we add the coefficient 4 to all three species in this equation. Now we have 4 H plus ions on the left and on the right, so they can be cancelled, leaving us with this. Notice we have 4 H2O on the left and 12 H2O on the right. So we can simplify this by removing 4 water molecules from both sides of the equation. Removing 4 water molecules from the left side leaves us with none. And removing 4 water molecules from the right side leaves us with 12 minus 4 equals 8. What we do now is add up what we have remaining to build the redox equation in basic solution. On the left side we have 6 NH2OH and 2 HPO3 2 minus. And on the right side we have 3 N2, 8 H2O, 2 P, and from the bottom right, 4 OH minus. So now we have the balanced redox equation in basic solution. At this point, pause the video and make sure all atoms are balanced and the total ionic charge is balanced. Now we've completed what we were asked to do in the original question. We have the balanced redox equation for this reaction in basic solution. To review, in part 1, we determined and balanced the half reactions in acid solution. Then in part 2, we used the half reactions to build the equation for the redox equation in acid solution. And finally, in part 3, we converted the equation in acid solution to the final equation in basic solution. At this point, you can pause the video and take a screenshot of the entire solution to this problem. There are many steps in a problem like this. In order to get good at doing these, you must practice by doing lots of examples. Thank you.